March is Women's History Month. <laughs> yes, yes. It's the one month when Mike Pence can't be alone with a calendar. <laughs> and to help us celebrate, we're joined by our senior women's history correspondent, Dulce Sloan, everybody! <laughs> Happy Women's History Month. Happy? It would be happy if you got me a gift. Well, another one. I, I just got you a gift for Black History Month. Yeah, because I'm black in February, and in March, I'm a woman. <laughs> oh, no, but that's not fair. Okay, so then when do I get a gift? In April, because you're a fool. <laughs> anyway, Trevor, have you ever wondered why women don't get the historic credit they deserve? Uh, sexism? Statues, Trevor. Women don't have as many statues in, as men. In fact, nationwide, only 8% of outdoor statues are of women. Wow. How did you know that statistic? <laughs> I drink Snapple. <laughs> <laughs> I read. What? <laughs> Internet. Come on, dog. <laughs> and I've seen it for myself. I was walking through Central Park the other day, <laughs> under duress. And I saw statues of Alexander Hamilton, Christopher Columbus, William Shakespeare, all famous men from history. But it comes to women, there's only two statues in Central Park, Alice in Wonderland and Mother Goose. <laughs> which makes no damn sense. Alice is just a white girl who took Molly. <laughs> And why does Mother Goose get a statue? All she did was f a goose! I, I don't think that's right. Fine, she made love to a goose! No, that's not right. Okay, anyway, do say, I'm lost. How does having more statues help? Because, Trevor, statues help us remember history. When you walk past the statue and you're like, oh, yeah, MLK did have a dream. Thomas Jefferson was a complicated individual. And when you don't honor women the same way you honor men, you're leaving them out of history. That, that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, well, at least... At least women have the Statue of Liberty. That's one of the most famous statues in the world. That doesn't count. We need statues of real women, not some giant French bitch holding an ice cream. <laughs> no. Someone like Toni Morrison, the first black woman to win... <laughs> the Nobel Prize for Literature, or someone like Frances Perkins, the first woman appointed to a presidential cabinet. <laughs> or someone like Beyonce. <laughs> the first woman to be Beyonce. <laughs> Why doesn't she have a statue? I mean, she's already standing like a statue. She's ready. This, this is actually a great idea, but, but I hope you understand. Building thousands of statues is, of women is gonna be difficult. I mean, statues are expensive. Uh, you know, this is gonna be a project that's gonna take a lot of time. Oh, I've already done it, Trevor. What? I've designed one statue to symbolize all women, their power, their beauty, their mystique. A flawless avatar of womanhood <laughs> that anyone can look at and see themselves. Don't say that. That's a statue of you. Oh, Trevor. <laughs> I'm touched that you can see me in that art. No, it's literally you. It has your name on it. And also, why are you holding a baby? You don't have kids. That baby symbolizes America, okay? <laughs> Which women have been carrying for far too long. Powerful. Nah, I'm kidding. It's Idris Elba's baby. Because <laughs> that's some history I want to make. Do say slow, everybody!